Wait, hang on, let me get t-shirts. We're recording, are you? Gee, fucking hell. All six right picture. Uh, back to this week's version of Dara Talks to the Camera. Uh, in events that are happening in the business this week, uh, in the business blog, we have, uh, oh, actually, something that is quite important, um, is the members' Facebook page is starting. Jeez, Gareth is here topless now. Are you, uh, are you doing an update? Uh, yeah. Um, the business blog. The business blog. The members' Facebook page went live this week, um, or is going live, so if you're a member, if you're on a program, if you've had a program in the past, join up. You'll just need your last program number uh, to be able to join the group. And then there'll be kind of daily updates on that. It'll be where we'll kind of throw out the most of the video feedback. And then we'll just try and put as much uh, information and content up there as well. And just kind of get everybody who's training together or on the same programs at the moment. Yeah. Kind of interacting with each other a small bit more. Because um, I think there's value in that. Yeah, so we'll, the feedback system at the moment isn't um, as efficient for us or the people getting it. So it's no. not the best product for people. And... There's no real, we looked at a lot of the platforms and none of them were that great and they were, um, they didn't really do what we wanted. So at the end of the day, you know, Facebook group is not something, it just doesn't go straight. So we're going to go with that and we're going to have certain times and then obviously people can still contact us whenever they want, DMs or emails, whatever, if they have specific questions about stuff that they want to know more or about. Or phone calls late at night. <laughs> Very late phone calls. <laughs> oh yeah, tonight we're finalising the deadlift programme. Yeah. So we're just going to have the last of our arguments. Um, we'll, cut, we'll cut to that. Yeah, that's, we cut, <laughs> we'll cut to that in a minute. I'm just going to cut it here right now. Currently just um, listening to John Butler playing in the studio and he's unbelievable. Have you heard him before this? Yeah. It's unbelievable. So we're going to write the... Um, we're also looking at a new Hilux. <laughs> so we're going writing the... Uh, or not writing, finishing off the Seek a Pull program. So they sure open in this as well. Um, so basically it takes a long time to write programs like this. It's because... So if we had to write a program for someone specific, uh, if you know the one to one athletes coach, you get a program every week, you know, and it doesn't take that long because we know what you're doing for the next three months in our head. Yeah. And then we know what you're doing weekly, you know. But when you write programs like this, that we know literally thousands of people are going to use, uh, hopefully tens of thousands of people. Yeah. There's a couple of different things that go into it. Um, one is that we have to balance what people need to do and should do and what people will want to do. And, what and we'll, yeah, will adhere to. Yeah, and what they'll end up doing. Um, so one of the things is like we know people will run this with the Sika Price program, Sika and the Road Tenure Squat program. So the Dallas program would have been ten weeks anyway. That would have been the yeah. most ideal. But because the Road Tenure Squat program is eight weeks, we know that people, for example, will be finished that week eight, and they won't be maxing their squats or their Dallas in the same week. But it, in this scenario, it's just the pull program would have been ten weeks anyway. Yeah, I, like the thing with pulls, they don't get so much at squats is like. People get injured a lot when they deadlift. Sure do. And like, so with squatting, we have like, with the squat program, most of the increases people find there because of the accessory work and because we have some forced adaptation curves that like, they're squatting more and they're squatting harder than they usually would, obviously enough. Mm -hmm. And then the accessory work kind of uh, gives them a small bit more quad development in certain areas makes their core a bit stronger and then keeps them injury free for eight weeks yeah which is like that's what we wanted it to do the problem with the deadlift program is people have rate limiting factors that are like outside of just an eight week band so like a rate limiting factor is something that limits how fast we can progress something and um, so like a rate limiting factor with people's deadlifts is that their backs or their core musculature is quite weak and that is much more of a rate limiting factor with the deadlift than it is with a squat uh, just because of the orientation of the spine obviously is horizontal or in a hor roughly horizontal plane for a lot of it and then comes to vertical rather than it being like a stacked up pillar like it is for the squat. Interesting thing you mentioned about deadlift is that CNS fatigue is re related as much to time spent doing the exercise as it is to the actual muscle damage done, so they're both related. So the reason deadlifts often are the most venous fatiguing is because you destroy a lot of muscle tissue basically. Yeah. But heavy deadlifts take so long to finish one rep. You've such a long time under tension. Yeah. So usually lower and lower uh, weight exercises with longer endurance end up fatiguing you more. Now that's a random thing, 
but I'm probably that's random yeah. it's mainly random but that's one of the reasons why they left TQ so much the um, other thing we have to do this evening because we're actually I just realised it's a business vlog yeah it was not a video about the Dell program uh, is we got pictures taken a few weeks ago and we have to pick those pictures now and see which ones are going to go on the site um, and which ones are going to use for posts mm -hmm. so this is just more random random stuff that takes up Tuesday evenings yeah. to vote on what colour the stickers should be in my Hilux uh, the Hilux is going to be white and we're currently thinking black Sika strength stickers on it everywhere everywhere just a giant Sika strength logo on the roof so Garf what are we doing this morning uh, um we were writing block 10 of weightlifting. No, 11. Block 11 of weightlifting. And then block 11 of strength for fitness athletes, aka the CrossFit program, basically. We're not allowed to tell them that though. No, you're not allowed to tell the website. And then we fit, oh, we finished the deadlift program. So it's finally finished. Um, so the last clip you would have seen, we were arguing about the program, but I think we're pretty happy with it now. Yeah. Um, for once, Fitz wasn't being aggressive enough with the increments. But um, we want to make them feel like it's their fault. Yeah. So what was happening is the big issue, I think, with deadlifts is that people get really fucking beaten up by the actual progressions they make. Yeah. Um, but yeah, basically it just took a lot of testing and a lot of arguing. Um, and we're very happy with the program itself now. Mm -hmm. um, we just need to make it like clear. We have a few bits to do on like, we have videos for all the exercises, um, which is something that we probably didn't do with the squat program that we should have done earlier. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna like release that as like the exercises for the deadlift program. That's about it. What else do we do today? You said about the fitness program. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, so our supplier for the clothes has been slower getting back to us. So we were happy with what we saw, but we just wanted to see some in person. Um, so we're gonna, but we, I think we have another yeah supplier. It's a few irons in the fire. Yeah, and they they were offering for cheaper, so especially for the embroidery. So we're gonna go suss those out. They're making promises, and we trust the person who recommended them for us. So we might we're gonna have a look those during the week. Um, so we're kind of sick of putting up with the typical kind of. Why can no company just have relatively good customer service? Like I think ours, sometimes we are, we definitely have an issue with that, but that's because yeah. we were trying to work other jobs while doing this. And now that's not an excuse that we're making for people. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it will be a lot better in the next few weeks. Yeah. But um, like we want to, we really like to, well, where we are from the clothes, right? Is when I, when you see your t-shirt at the top of the pile, I want you to be like, yes. Oh, yes. Nice to wash, so. And these ones are like that. That's it. I, yeah. I wear. I don't wear these for videos and stuff. I just wear them all the time because I'm yeah. happy when I see them because they're just a perfect t-shirt. Like I want that for your pants, seek strength pants. I want that for any piece of clothing. I want you to be happy when your mom does your washing. That's <laughs> at the top of the pile and you see it and you're like, it's a seek strength t-shirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? That's what. That's what we want from the clothes. So that's why we don't. And just so you know, like these t-shirts. The ones from the last order, which are basically sold out now, yeah. are fucking amazing t-shirts. These ones, uh, they're a year and a half old. Oh, so, so stretchy. So perfect. That's why we want to embroidery because now at some point we might do printing. Yeah. But I'm, I'm happy with the embroidery because it lasts so long. It looks so. It looks good. For the internet sleuths. What's on there? Here's a little sneak peek of a uh, block eleven of the weightlifting program. Ninety-five percent. Yeah, maxing out all the time. Basically. That's really mad for a whole month. I said I could get some extra work in and do better quality reps with 140 for a double. So I did two sets of two 140 and the second set was very good. Prob Garf, what are we doing? We are doing the first six weeks of our first club program. So we have Edinburgh University Club, Wait if they yeah. go, that we're doing their programming for them. Um, so we're, we wouldn't call ourselves our coaches, we're facilitating their Weight of the environment right now. Facilitating their athletic development. So we have, um, because obviously we're not there in person, but we, some of the members contacted us and requested that we, obviously sort of through Seek Strength or whatever, it's one of our products or one of the services we offer people um, is we're doing their programming. So there's different tiers that we're, we were given them and they've picked the tier where we will write a couple of weeks of program. So obviously one of the benefits of seeing lots of shit people lift for a long time is that it, it's very apparent that um, everybody's lifts are all shit in the same way or one of a few yeah I think people make the same mistakes 
Okay, you can say it like that if you want. Get wish. held up in the in Yeah, the same that's areas. a nicer way of saying it. Everyone makes yeah. the same mistakes. Everyone's either weak overhead. Jeez, or... holding a camera out here is no joke. Sure, that's, is that? So we need a, a gimbal or something. Yeah. Or a gimp. Um, so, it I might just set mistakes. this down here. So we can... There we go. That seems alright, doesn't it? Yeah. So we're basically... Oh, you've no mic in it. Yeah, but sure you can still hear us, like. Yeah, but it's not as good, like. The mic isn't down there. Is the mic in the car? Oh, I think the mic is in the car. Anyway, so basically, we, we're we the giving them the a program. Uh, their coaches, well, their kind of senior members are gonna help them work through. But they, we've given them a program because it's kind of outside of their current experience and ability. And then we're gonna look at some of their lifts in week six. Look at a lot of their lifts. They're gonna do a little in-house competition, and then we are gonna review that and then write another few weeks program to address some of the issues we see. And uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, We'll try and make a little... Other things that are happening today yeah. um, is we have the deadlift programs being sent over to our magic internet man who works the website. Uh, so that's a good step. We're both kind of excited to that being released out into the world and see what kind of PBs people hit. What else do we have on the list? Oh, we've had a theory of training video about maxing out um, or about why possibly not maxing out is the way forward. Uh, or not maxing out too frequently. It's a fine evening here in Cork. Uh, that's actually a, a piece of my wall, not, not the window. There it is. Um, so the clothes, we are having a minor issue with the supplier. <laughs> and uh, we'll see how that goes. See, unfortunately, um, I doubt the supplier would ever see this video, but they're, they are a, a local to us supplier. So we'll refrain from making any comments right now. But if it gets sorted, then we'll say nothing at all. But if it doesn't get sorted, then we will probably talk about it. But um, if you're seeing this video, it hasn't been sorted. <laughs> <laughs> Writing your script word for word, you know, it can get pretty long and it can take a lot of time. If you're not using bullet points and you're typing everything out, then it's going to take a bit longer to write it out. And then also when you're filming it... You Alright, so what we're also doing is writing a script for that video Fitz mentioned previously in this. So, normally what we do is wing wing it, right? And yeah, I hope this we is We always wing it. And, um, and to be fair, it's worked out reasonably well for us so far because before we tried um, writing out or remembering exactly what we would say about a year ago and it did not work out at all. So we, um, we moved kind of bullet points. And that worked fairly well so far. But yeah. we're going to try a little bit more structure and obviously improve things a little bit. Uh, our podcasts are not scripted, so we just pick a subject and then we ignore everything each other say and continue on with our own conversation in our head. And that's working out really well. That's how they all work. I'm like, just don't forget this point. That's literally it. Stop talking. It's literally, I have a point in my head and I'm just waiting for Fitz to finish speaking. And it, I know we know when each other are finished speaking. Yeah. And then I tell my point. We've known each other for so long now that we finish each other's guns. I think so. Basically, we're just kind of waiting to finish work. So you're finished. We're work. in purgatory at the moment, really. Yeah. Uh, you're at the stage in work where it's torture. Everyone knows you're leaving. Yeah. Um, and you're still giving me work. Yeah, mad, isn't it? Mad being waiting. Uh, so, so things are getting set up now for us going full time. Uh, it's going to mean an awful lot more of this stuff. Yeah. Uh, which is good. Mean a lot more coaching as well. Uh, which will be good. Did um. Oh, so did we mention the last one we we're going to do an in-season program for? Uh, no, athletes? we didn't. So, so that's something that like we don't cater for at all the, at the moment. Um, we have like a lot of athletes who are off-season with us, so like rugby players, American football players, soccer players, GAA players. Um, so what's going to happen is we're going to have some specific in-season programs for them. Obviously, like off-season strength and hypertrophy work is very, very general. Yeah. Um, so we're going to just, like, you can't have a rugby player doing the same thing in season as a a football player. Yeah. Um, so they're going to be coming out. One thing I'm really looking forward to being able to do is um, starting Sika Armour or Body Armour. So like the mm. assistance program for basically everyone. That's obviously a huge index of work, so it will take a lot more to yeah. uh, do. But we'll have the time to do it. And then we're going to be starting a pay-per-view 
YouTube series, so we're going to do a p- different paper a week. We have our first one on... Not uh, a newspaper now, a scientific paper. We get at that as well. And then I will be doing my biochemistry of performance series, and I'll be putting my undergrad <laughs> to work. I, um, I started one of them, the research for one of them, and then... Is on mTOR? It was on mTOR, but... I realised while trying to run a business and work full time and train a lot, I couldn't do all the research and mTOR that I needed to do. No. So I'm probably going to start with um, something like excitation, coupling contraction, or something like that. So just how muscle cells contract. Yeah. And then, or if I have the time, I will just do the first one on mTOR. Uh, mTOR is obviously enormous, mm. and I had a lot of it done. And then we will have a lot more stuff coming out. And then. Yeah, I look forward to all of that. So I'm yeah. just going to end this one here. Vlog number two for the business. For the business. Uh, I, w- I wish I had another name for the business, but I don't... Is there any other name we can use for this? It's just kind of... It does the purpose. It is what it is. Is there any SS thing? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Seek a salary. <laughs> Seek a salary. <laughs> Lack thereof. Uh, yeah, should we come up with something? Seek a stories. No, Seek a stories would be great. For a different kind of video. <laughs> we went to the beach today. <laughs>